woman who carries the baby in her womb for conception, both the husband and wife are important. So let us come and see how both of them can contribute to a healthy baby. We know that a basic hemoglobin level in both the couple are important as well as if they are going to a through a thalassemia test, equally that is important in having a baby without any malformations. Now, coming to smoking, both of them need to quit smoking. We know in the man, the smoking habit directly affects the performance as well as quality of the sperms. Similarly, in a woman, if she is conceiving, the smoking needs to cut down or stop because otherwise she is going to deliver a baby with a low birth weight or can miscarry. The woman needs to plan more. If she is into heavy exercising, she should consult a physiotherapist and cut down on her exercises as required. Though she is taking care of the baby, it is important that she takes care of herself too. She should and must complete the doses of vaccination that are due like hepatitis, cervical cancer vaccination and rubella vaccination. If she is into passive or active smoking, then we should reduce or cut down on the smoking uh, definitely before planning pregnancy and also during pregnancy. If she is into certain medications which are required for her health, due to epilepsy, diabetes, renal conditions, she should certainly go consult with her concerned physician and either reduce the doses or maintain them in such a level that during pregnancy there is no flare-ups. If she is into supplements and vitamins, it should be very important that she takes care not to intake excess vitamins as it might cause some harm to the baby and might cause some congenital malformations in the baby too. Surely, timing is everything. Though we know that timing is everything and the patient needs to plan her pregnancy at a particular time, but you should always remember that it is not one shot at making a baby. We know that when an ovum is released, it stays in the body healthy for 12 to 24 hours. Similarly, a sperm can stay in the body from 3 to maximum 5 days. So, you have a wide period of conception. The potential is almost around 6 days, especially 3 days prior to ovulation, the day of ovulation and 1 day post ovulation. So, my request is do not become anxious. You know very well that you have time and you also know that it is a, just a question of permutation and combination. So, in each cycle, there is only 10% chance of conception. Remembering this, I would request you to become positive, to become less conscious of the action and try to improve your performance and time your pregnancy well. important to do certain genetic tests in a couple who already have a family history of genetic diseases or hereditary diseases so that the diseases are not transmitted to the prospective parents offspring. Sometimes it is important to offer them certain special genetic screening if they comply with it before they go for pregnancy just to prevent the occurrence of an untoward congenital hereditary disease. Sometimes the couple are very willing. Sometimes we need to counsel them and go through a pedigree analysis and find out the particular disease before offering them that test to their offsprings. There are certain other tests also which can cause diseases in the offspring like blood related diseases, the blood tests like serology, the thalassemia tests and it is very important that we screen the couple for these diseases when they are planning conception.